UK politics now, yeah? What are big issues since we were just talking about them? So I just looked this up, yeah? So I'm seeing five, yeah, in particular. What do you think about these, Lorna? What do you think about these? The first one, yeah? Hate crime, yeah? Hate crime, online bullying, things like that. What do I think about this? Yeah, I don't like it, yeah. I like it, man. I feel like um bullying, like let's define bullying, alright? I've spoken about this over here. Having uh causing a harm, yeah, to uh another person, a a child, yeah, an animal, um even that of oneself, yeah, the self harm. Bullying can cause self harm, people. You you do understand that, and then there's some people that they get bullied, yeah, and then they go on to commit really really bad crimes. Yeah, like what? Who knows in it? Who knows? The thing that people will do because of the state of their mental health. You understand, yeah? You understand, yeah? So, no, I do not like this. I do not condone in this behaviour. And have I experienced, uh, I have experienced the bullying, yeah? When it comes to the cyberbullying... When it comes to the cyberbullying, yeah, I had this as a very young teenager, yeah, a very, very young teenager. I didn't, um, I didn't really, really had this in my adult life, yeah, I really have this, yeah, would I say so, harassment, yeah, harassment, um, I have known what it's like to be harassed, yeah, online and offline. I have known what that is like. Um, you see, yeah, the thing that really helped me yeah, is I became so strong, yeah, mentally and emotionally that I was able to, a backbone I'm seeing, yeah, that I was actually then able to cope with it, yeah? What did I do? Well, the first thing I did was I did not suffer in silence, yeah? I felt no way to report people. I felt no way to um, get into my creativity, yeah? And make that something good yeah of myself yeah and for somebody else um but i do understand that what usually is what usually has the harassment been lorna yeah when people don't take no for an answer they don't take they want something from you yeah and they don't take no for an answer yeah creeps creeps yeah i have had this from um men that have fancied me i've had this from neighbors stealing from me i have had this from um yeah and even girls yeah like girlfriends that um you know you don't want to you don't want to entertain or be their friend anymore because they're just freaking loose, yeah? they just freaking loose and, you know, and usually they have done something, yeah, to stab you in the back, yeah? And even even admitted that they had um done that, yeah? Even admitted, yeah? Not even hearsay, yeah? Right before my eyes I'm hearing, yeah? They've done this right before your eyes even. And then when you tell them no, they have um, 
they have become um upset yeah they have become upset yeah yes i have um uh, i have experienced it in this way yeah but honestly what doesn't kill you makes you stronger yeah it made me strong yeah in the person i am and it absolutely made me strong in in my um art yeah it made me strong in my art um which i'm so grateful for and you know what it strengthened my faith in god it strengthened my faith man we come a long long way baby yeah i just want to praise you yeah for the hard times and the good have to celebrate you baby yeah i had to praise you like i should it that's how it made me yeah and it made me um speak out yeah against it too yeah it made me it made me uh, unashamed that's how i really okay so, so the people that they get bullied and they become bullying yeah what is it they're really holding on to yeah a lot of things yeah they're holding on to a lot of things there's a lot of emotions and, and, and incidences that happened in in their life yeah but number one yeah they're holding on to the shame of what happened to them they're holding on to the shame of what happened to them and and you shouldn't be ashamed of what happened to you yeah i want to reach out yeah rather you should reach out to people yeah this is what we mean by the right people see your work so even if people they're giving you a hard time things like that other people good people yeah that also overcome this they recognize you they recognize you oh that's a diamond come here diamond do you know what i'm saying yes we will be happy to publish your work yes we will be happy to put you in contact with the right people um yeah yeah networking now yeah getting the right networks yeah that's what happened that's what happened so yeah yeah the bullying and the, the cyber bullying and stuff like that um yeah 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 with the with what i do now yeah okay so like talking to you about these kind of matters on youtube and my time on youtube i mean for me this has been a great experience because you know i've really um i've really focused on adult education and um i have also i've also really understood why I have done this and yeah I've written seven books on it five of which I have um now independently published yeah um yeah uh about yeah what I did over here and and my dream books and and, and things like that yeah um so you see yeah for me it was a it was actually a great experience but yeah i was able to all this kind of pain and suffering you know i was able to get it down and and, and i was able to sell sell it you know i I wasn't selling myself short anymore and, and being um trapped yeah but you can imagine okay speaking of adult education and we were just talking about the younger generation injustice yeah you can imagine what the younger generation they they're going through with this yeah because it's true yeah they, they go online they go on to the online and, and they go to the school, yeah? They go to the online. It's always there. But even those, yeah, that literally, like, I was saying for myself, okay, they're working online. Um, I mean, I, my support here, yeah, has been rather good, you know, because I've gone slow and steady. You know, my support has been rather good, yeah. I have to say, I have to say, so thank you, yeah. Thank you to those of you yeah, that really, really has supported me. Um, but, and, and obviously I'm continue, continuing to help support you also by keep producing great works, you know. But, um, but yeah, guys, you know, it's, 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 it can be like this, yeah. What do I think about, we're about to get to mental health as well. 
what do I think about people that do create these kind of arts? Okay, so like comedians and things like that. When I'm seeing these kinds of, I'm seeing these videos where where people are getting really upset at comedians. Yeah, I'm always seeing stuff like this for decades in the news. Yeah, now online. Was there anything else about cyberbullying? Yeah, this was it really. I mean, people that that is creating their own arts, yeah, yeah, like SNL, yeah, and these kind of things, yeah, stand up, yeah. I do think, yeah, that, um, I do think it's um wrong, yeah. I do think it's wrong to tell these people that they're wrong at what they're doing, um. And the reason I think this, oh my God, my bracelet's stuck bigger. I've got this princess carriage charm, yeah, and it's always getting freaking stuck on everything. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow, Lord. Yeah, we don't want to be stuck no more, yeah. Let's talk about this, guys. When it comes to, where were we? Where were we? Give me have a sip. yeah the stand-up comedy and stuff no no i think it's wrong yeah to tell these people that they're wrong because the thing is okay again they're expressing themselves in their arts and they're clever they're genius actually it's it's clever it, it's glam and it's genius a triple threat yeah a triple threat and and people um really feel this threat and um i think it's wrong yeah i think it's wrong to be coming against these artists these people are artists yeah clever glam genius yeah yeah freestylers freestylers that's what they are they freestylers what are we going to do, yeah? Are we going to cancel every book? Are we going to cancel every film, TV show, music? Are we going to... Is this what we going to do? Is this what we're going to do? Where, where do we really draw the line, Lorna? This is where we draw the line, yeah? We draw the line, yeah, when it start, we start talking now about... um. When we start talking about murder and when we start talking about children, murder, children and rape, that's where we draw the freaking line. That's where we draw the line and we say, na, 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 you don't, um, you don't bully and offend like this. You do not bully and offend like this, all right? Um, ever. Ever. I mean, listen, you express your emotion. You, you can find a way to express your emotion, yeah? Maybe you was, maybe you was, uh, maybe you was feeling a feeling of a, an anger, an envy, a lost or whatever, but there's a lot of way to, to convey this kind of emotion yeah but uh, you know when people are literally like harming in this way no no it's not okay it's not okay yeah all right it's not okay so let's move on to mental health yeah mental health Something feels so serene and peaceful here, you know. It's a lovely day. Mental health. It's a lovely day. Just got paid. Pack it up. Be on my way. It's a lovely day. You've got to be putting song in my head all day. Oh, I want to love you every day and every night. So, when it comes to mental health, yeah. Yeah, we need to really lot more emphasis yeah we need, we need to be helping people more with their mental health exactly to be coping finding coping strategy for some people you know 
some people they don't cope mentally or they don't cope emotionally or both yeah manic yeah one's affecting the other yeah yeah they become triggered yeah um i have been there um mental here for you mind matters i mean sometimes yeah it, all you really need is just calm yeah to be able to um transcend yeah <laughs> transcend the adversity and 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 these problem you got in your life in yourself yeah um calm yeah we need calm really what i think we need to be looking at here is how people can create sanctuaries yeah within themselves and for themselves so that they can they can um aspire to to better and develop you know and and their mind will naturally but this a, a sanctuary that their space yeah body channeling and and just channeling yeah in the home yeah it's you know getting people um more organized you know people are trying to find ways to be more organized um to find peace you know that saying yeah if you're not happy now yeah if you're not happy what you already have you won't be i mean look i mean look i think there's always room to be a lot more calmer when you're a little more organized yeah mind body and and spirit yeah yeah because you're hearing your soul speak to you yeah so creating uh creating a sanctuary to you to yourself yeah i mean what does that mean does that mean getting the entire um, refurb i think it means you yeah, understanding where upgrades are needed in your life not just in your space but in your attitude partner let me upgrade you so that's number two yeah mental health number three yeah what's number three yeah you want to do a part two yeah let's do a part two